everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel and happen to stumble by, I'm your girl Bella and I would totally love if you join me on my YouTube adventures. Hello, hello my sweet peeps. How's it going everybody? How's it going? Happy Friday. Happy July. Yesterday was July 1st. So happy July and happy Canada Day to all the Canadians celebrating Independence Day in Canada. So, hi guys! Oh, I am so ready for the weekend. Oh, am I ever ready? Are, do you guys have any big grand plans for the weekend? I wanna know, I wanna know, I wanna share with you what I'm gonna do this weekend. I'm so excited, so, so excited, so excited. Oh my God, can you tell my excitement? Number one, I will be celebrating July 4th. <laughs> And, and number two, we're going to a country concert. Oh my God. Angela and I are huge country music fans. I've been a country music fan my entire life. I, I like obsessed with country music. I mean, yeah, love, 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 love country music. So we're going to a country music concert. They're doing a free one here in our town and a really big singer is coming and it's all free and I cannot wait, I cannot wait, I cannot wait. Okay, Bella, enough of the rambling, enough of the patriotic 4th of July stuff. That's right, let's get into the video. This is my very first Decorate With Me video in my house, guys. I love doing Decorate With Me videos because it gives you a lot of information, you get to see a lot of different products, you get to see how we put things together, what's the thinking, why I do it, um, you know, spacing, you get to visualize spacing and see what works for your house. Okay, so this is my hutch, my brand new, uh, well, brand new to me, anyways, a French country little hutch. I will give you a full tour of it after it's got three beautiful shelves they are glass shelves and I'm going to show you something. It's even got a little light in here. It's got a little light. So at night it has a little ambiance and because it's glass here and here, every, it all, the light shines through. I love it. That was another reason why I wanted this little hutch. Okay. So let's get to decorating. What I'm going to do is I'm going to voice over it. Okay. Because sometimes when I talk like this, I forget things and then I start babbling and I go off topic and, and y'all know me, y'all know me by now, y'all know, y'all know that I have the gift of gab. So, <laughs> but I'm going to voice over it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to clean. You're going to see me clean. I'll give you references to all this stuff and uh, yeah, let's get into the video. Let's okay, my sweet friends, let's get started. Now, tip number one, always, always, always start your decor with a clean, clean slate because this makes your stuff stand out and look pretty and shiny and no one wants to see dirty decor and I've already cleaned this once, but I'm cleaning it again and please forgive the roots on my hair, my goodness, how awful those are going to be getting done today. Absolutely, can you believe it? But I'm telling you, always, always, always start your decor out with cleaning. Make sure every surface is clean, clean and super polished, and then get cracking to your decor. So finally, I'm using these beautiful dishes that I have. I picked them up at Walmart Canada, and I love them, I love them, I love them. I got two sets of four, and they are this kind of French country inspired bluey gray and I love them. I just love the detail around them and I think they're going to look really good. Now guys, keep in mind I have not found all my decor. I'm still missing decor boxes. I don't know where they are. I'm still looking for them, but I did manage to find enough to do this uh, decorate with me. Now there's Mr. Rooster. He is so cute. I'm going to put the light on so you can see him a little bit better. He is from Walmart, Canada. Uh, can you believe it? He was not cheap, let me tell you that. And then this little pot 
it's a galvanized greenery thing. I think I got it at TJ Maxx um, in the USA. So you'll see some of my stuff is from Canada. Some of my stuff is from the USA because I just moved. So there you go. And I really wanted to make a center vignette. Now, when you make a center vignette and you want to make a big vignette, always think of these numbers, odd numbers, threes, fives, seven, seven is a massive, massive unit, uh, vignette. But think of threes and five. Guys, this candle is amazing. It is from Crackle Barrel, the restaurant. You know how they have the little store in front? Oh my God, they are from the Southern Firefly Company. Amazing hand poured, all done in Tennessee. I love the packaging also, so I'm gonna keep my candle in the packaging for now. And when I have guests over, I'm just gonna take it out of the packaging and burn the candle so the house smells really good. Okay, love this, love this cake stand. I've had it for years, it's um, wood. And then I'm going to use these little uh, faux cupcakes and or muffins. And I'm going to order some more little uh, faux food. But remember, make sure everything is really clean and shiny. Because the last thing you want to do is have fingerprint marks or anything like that on your decor. It really makes a difference in how you display things and how things will look in the end. Okay, one thing to notice, what I'm trying to accomplish here is a little touch of glam. I think a little touch of glam with the rustic and French country will go a long way. If you notice, um, my cake stand's got a little bit of gold on it. My rooster's got a little bit of gold on him. And you know, I'm just adding little, little touches of glam because I think it kind of elevates and makes it look really cute. I love this pick. You can get them all day at Hobby Lobby. Make sure you get them on 50% clearance. And I just want the greenery to cascade down a little bit. So there you'll see that. And then I'm adding this cute little sign. Dollar Tree, guys. Dollar Tree. Can you believe it? Dollar Tree. So cute. Okay guys, next vignette. I'm gonna use this little olive tree that I had from Michael's and another cute little cake stand. Love these little cake stands. You can buy them, and that one I'm pretty sure is from TJ Maxx or Home Goods. and I just cleaned off the cloche. Make sure it's clean. Make sure everything is really, really clean because that's what makes a difference. And then this cute little kitchen sign because I mean, pretty obvious we are in the kitchen <laughs> okay see these candle holders I never used them I got them on clearance at Hobby Lobby oh god uh, at least two years ago and I had them in my stash and I'm finally using them I'm using them for height and then here in the middle I'm gonna add another plate now guys the, I'm gonna show you a trick my top shelf is gonna be pretty full of decor but my middle shelf is gonna have less decor, and then my bottom shelf will have more decor. This just gives interest to the eye. It helps the eye look at decor differently. And you wanna try and leave lots of space between your decor so the eye grabs each piece and notices it. And I love these little birds, I'm telling you, I love them. From Michaels, that one, it's just like a, Concrete one from Michaels, if you're interested. And then some greenery. Greenery in these little pots is the best. You can buy these all day at Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Target, and I'm just gonna add a little clock with a bird. Because if you see, I got birds on one side, and then I'm adding the little clock with the bird on the other side. 
I just love it. I think it's all very natural. Okay, now I'm gonna add this welcome sign to the bottom because I want a big impact on the bottom. Remember I explained that? Big impact on the top, a little less in the middle, and big impact on the bottom. It helps your eye go from top to bottom. It's just a designer kind of trick. I mean, honestly, you could try it, and you could try this for any kind of decor. Glam, farmhouse, French country. These tips and tricks work for any kind of decor, guys. The next thing, because I got a rooster on top, now I got a hen on the bottom. And she's cute. She's from Hobby Lobby. I like her. I wish they had a bigger size of this hen. I haven't found it. I If I do, I'm going to grab it and pick it up. Because I really like the chippiness and the white of this hen. And it was in the spring shop. Um, they had it this year also. So if you're interested, head over to Hobby Lobby, guys. And this little crown. Oh my God, I've had this from Louisiana. I've had this for so long. And I'm just added a little battery operated tea light. It's cute to put things like that. And at night, it'll give a nice ambiance with the little tea light flickering. And there you go, there's my center vignette. Now for this litter lantern. So cute, it's from Amazon and a special subby of mine, Lucy, had sent me a really lovely gift card and that's what I purchased with the gift card that she sent me. This adorable little lantern and I love it. I just added another battery operated tea light and now I'm gonna add that little round thing that I bought with the little bird on it and another tea light. So cute, guys. These tea lights at night look adorable, adorable. And they really do give off quite a little bit of ambiance to your decor. And it just makes everything just a little bit special. And I just want it to look special. Then we need some greenery. Now, where did I put that greenery? I was looking for everything all over the place, guys. I'm telling you. Real life. Okay. A little bit of greenery. I'm going to pop the greenery in the back just so it ha has a nice backdrop to the to the objects that I put there in the front. And then the last vignette, and I'll stop yip-yapping for you guys. Okay, very last vignette. I just got some of these uh, faux, what are they called? Bagels from Hobby Lobby. And I put them in another um, cake stand that is almost identical to the big one on the top shelf, but I have it placed completely diagonal. Do you see the wood? And then I just added this little wood bead thing that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I think this is just gonna finish it off perfectly. Let me get some greenery and one more thing and we are done. There, the same greenery I use all over the place, guys. Love that greenery, Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby. It's the best. And then another little bread and that's it. We are officially done.
Okay, my sweet friends, what do you all think? You liked it? I love it. Okay, now, I couldn't find all my decor. I'm trying still to open the boxes, but I think we did really, really good with what I could muster up. I'm gonna order more little faux cakes, faux cupcakes, faux food. I think they are so cute. And I saw my girlfriend Liz, she got these new ones. They're like little like cakes or something. Oh my God, adorable. I'm gonna get those. I saw them on Amazon. I'll link them down in my Amazon store if you guys are interested also. They are so cute, so, so cute. Anyways, I want to wish you all a happy, happy July. I hope July is an amazing month for you. I hope something spectacular happens in the month of July for you. I hope great things happen for all of us in the month of July. And I hope you have an amazing, amazing weekend. And I will see you on a Monday. So have a fantastic July 4th. If you are celebrating, if you are celebrating and your area is open and they have big celebrations, go out and have a great time. If not, and you're doing it low key at home, that's great too. Um, I just hope you guys do whatever you feel in your heart is right for you and you have the most amazing, amazing time. So I wish you a great weekend and I'll see you on Monday. Bye YouTube. Bye everybody. Mwah.